Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your October general readings. We're going to see what is going on from a general perspective for the month of October. And I always thank you so much for the love and support that you continue to give to our channel. Now, you guys, you will be able to, to apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our um, Instagram at Lotus Love Channel 555. Okay? Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this reading and subscribe to our channel. <clears throat> right next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell. Hit that bell, and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Okay? A little bit about this reading right here. I do all of the elements in the same reading. Okay? And so, I mean, all of the signs in that element in the same reading. So, for example, all fire signs will be together. All earth signs will be together. All air and all water signs will be together. But you all have different storylines. So, you will have a different title. So, make sure you understand that. So, when you look at this reading, um, it will be for the entire element. But there are they're definitely going to be different storylines that come through for each. So, that's why you'll have a different title, okay? There also will be an extended on this. And so in order to see the extended, you need to be in our Patreon where you'll get an opportunity to see the extended for $5.55 per month. And that's all of them. Or the link to the extended by itself can be found below. Okay, you guys, I think that's all I needed to announce. Um, I'm ready to get started. How about you? Okay, now on to your reading. Hello, my earth signs. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. And then also keep in mind now, this is for all earth signs. But you guys will definitely have um, your own individual storylines, okay? All right, so let's just see where we are. All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to go for for our earth signs? Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn. The messages need to go for for our earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. One more shuffle. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The messages need to go for Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn. Capricorn. Ooh. Capricorn. There it is. Okay, Capricorn actually has two. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, messages to the four for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What messages need to go for? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, okay, Virgo. Taurus and Capricorn. Taurus. Capricorn. Capricorn? <laughs> okay. Capricorn, you got a lot of messages. All right. So let's... Uh, no, this one goes that way. Okay. All right. So now we are ready to see. Let's look at Taurus first. Taurus, recognition and reward. Wow. All right, so you're going to be recognized for something. You're going to be rewarded for something, which is going to bring about a transformation for you. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Recognition and reward, which is going to bring about a transformation, a change um, is going to be happening for you. Okay? Some type of change, but it's a very good change, which is going to kind of take you on another level. It's going to put you, it's going to distinguish you between the rest. You're going to be rewarded for things that, 
for seeds that you have planted while a long time ago. Okay, this transformation, I feel like you've been doing it for a very, very long time. And I'm looking at this rose behind here. And I'm a Taurus, and I've been actually putting fresh flowers in my, my home and, and roses. And I've, I've been having an infatuation for um, just nature, period. And that butterfly, you know, of course, it represents transformation. But I'm also looking at here with the stance that this person is taking, is bowing. That means that you, you've you been humble in this transformation. You haven't been boisterous. You haven't been throwing it in people's faces and being obnoxious. But this change, this reward, this recognition, you're going to take an humble stance in it. It's like, I don't need to let everybody know. They're going to be able to see. I don't need to blast it out. They're going to be able to see and understand that I've changed. And I've changed for the better to the point that many recognize who I am now. Love it. All right. Virgo, throat chakra. Okay, so the throat chakra we know deals with speaking, um, deals with things that you may need to say. It may need to be cleared. It may be blocked, okay? And diligence. So be very careful in what you say. Um, be very careful and, you know, um, it be very diligent, okay? And how you're speaking to people okay this is this is so important i mean this is very important because when it comes to that throat chakra um again this is dealing with you know mostly you know how you how you're speaking you know what are you saying what what it might be blocked where you're not saying what you need to say right um it, it deals with you know Either the words that you're saying or the words that you're not saying. And and that's what you really need to hone in on. Um, it's about communication. It's about, you know, the ability to, you know, hear within your heart and your spirit. And your spirit, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, you got to kind of balance this energy out. Um, you might want to begin trying to, you know, hum or sing out loud um, to kind of clear your throat. Okay, um, it's important when you say things that you say say things with power and integrity and from a positive standpoint. Okay, um, uh, just 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 make sure that that throat chakra is actually clear, and you're being diligent in doing that. Okay, concentrate on what you're saying and what you're speaking, or what you need to say, or what you need to speak. To somebody else okay Capricorn you have two wow you have three sevens right here seven 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 stand your ground and have patience but make sure you look at that angel number seven 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 that's coming through clap uh, very clearly uh, for you okay um, seven 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 but you need to stand your ground in something and you need to have patience right now um, you need to have patience in whatever you're trying to do um, i'm looking at the seed is being planted it's, it's like you don't rush anything that you may have planted a seed a while ago don't rush it allow it to grow allow it to take its own course okay and then it's something you need to stand your ground with or someone that you need to stand your ground on or maybe you're needing to have patience and standing your ground um and not moving out so fast with someone or something Stillness, yeah. Be still and just listen to what you need to do. Be still and get your guidance from spirit. See how he's kind of has his his sword up going towards the moon or the sun. I think that's the sun. The sun. This is what you're gonna have to be diligent and have patience in getting your guidance from spirit. Okay. Be very patient. Be very still and wait. And that's where your happiness is going to come. Oh, I love it. Okay, but you have you have some things that you need to do in order to make this happen, Capricorn. You have some things that you need to do in order to be able to make this happen for you. Okay? You got to stay on your ground. You got to be patient. You have to be still. And then happiness comes. All right, so let me put these cards here so I can kind of see where everybody is. Now let's... 
get into what the message is for the earth sign. Saw the eight of cups. So somebody may have to move away for these things to be able to happen. Step back, possibly from bad relationships or people that may be holding you back. Just saw the justice in reverse. Might be some situations where you're not being treated fairly. Or some people could possibly be in a divorce right now. Court case. Taurus, there you are showing up. That's needing to be spiritually guided. All right? Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what message you need to go for? For Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn as it relates to the general reading for October 2020. What messages need to go for for the sign of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? General reading for October 2020. Oop. First signs. October 2020 general reading. Right Yours this ooh. Alright. I don't know why my hand keeps itching. Does somebody have some money coming in? <laughs> and there's the opportunity right there. Ooh. Okay. So you definitely have a progression. You got, I don't know why my hand is itching. It just started itching with this reading. I have no idea what's going on, okay? You have three, four, five. That's definitely coming through, okay? So look up three, four, five, five, four, three consecutive numbers, okay? Uh, I think we have all signs here. No, we do not, okay? No, I think so. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries is here, and the tower can represent fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. There's an emphasis on an Aries, though. So an Aries could have something to do with this uh, scenario with someone. Okay. All right. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse, King of Swords, Five of Cups the emperor and overarching energy is the tower in reverse this is letting me know right from the start that there is a disaster that has been avoided okay or will be avoided there's something that could have happened um but it's being avoided spirit is kind of protecting you in that okay i mean it's your overarching energy it's like you were you were treading light and spirit protected you when you went into this uncharted territory that you knew could really hurt you or harm you but you took a chance anyway or you did something anyway and spirit protected you through it okay um and kind of kept 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 you at bay from whatever was happening around you i feel like somebody may have been trying to do something to you Okay, but it didn't affect you the way that they were hoping that it did. And that's that disaster that was avoided. Ace of Pentacles, this is an opportunity that's clearly coming your way. Okay, an opportunity is coming your way, but it's being coupled with the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is you really needing to listen to your um, your intuition. This is could be emptiness. This could be uh, block creativity. This could be emotional loss. So you have an a, 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 a opportunity that is coming to you, but I feel like you're coming from a space of emptiness, um, um, a space where you had to lose something to get this opportunity right here. And then I know that makes sense because you got the three of swords in reverse, which is recovering from a broken heart. Okay, so this is re this is recovery. So you are recovering from something that may have hurt you. Um, could be um, overindulgence, could be gossip, could be isolation. Um, but I, I do believe that with this three of swords in reverse, this is you uh, recovering from, like I said, you know. Uh, People trying to isolate you. People trying to keep you out in the cold. And you're recovering from that. You're forgiving and you're moving on uh, with that three of cups with this that could have caused you a broken heart. And I feel like, you know, more so that people, again, um, they were overindulging in your life. 
they were keeping leaving you out of situations or this could be just a romantic relationship where your heart was just clearly broken doesn't matter though you're moving on you're forgiving them and moving on you're not even worrying about it anymore okay because you learn how to think with your head over your heart you learn how to think strategically okay when you began to come out of this brokenness this space of uh heartbreak you began you thought with your head on how to get out of that okay even though from time to time you think about it grieves you it grieves your spirit um about the things that, that has happened um that what what has happened you look at the cups that are spilled but you do understand that you have two cups behind you and i know you understand it because like i said before you're in recovery mode and then you have the emperor after that which is let me know that you're in control this is you being in control this is you being the leader that you are okay uh, this is you understanding how important it is to stay in control of your life. This is you being a, a leader where people are looking up to you. Even though you're looking at the spilled cups here and what you lost, you realize that, you know, you have this control now. And this is what you really need to remember. It's like you need to just turn around and look at where you're going, not where you've come from. All right? We're going to go on to our extended now. And if you guys want to meet me over there, the link to the extended um, can be found below. And we're definitely going to extend Taurus Real going Capricorn first. And then we're going to pick out a few cards in here to uh, just get some clarification on. Especially with that tower and that three of swords and that five of cups. Okay. All right. You guys meet me on the other side. Bye-bye.